Hey guys, Bing here. Um, yesterday we modeled a uh, mesh fence using curtain wall. Today, uh, let's uh, model this use 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 the um, railing. Okay, so let's start. First, create a project, and then let's create a railing and uh, choose this one. Okay, glass panel. So because this one is closer to um, the one we're going to model. So okay, so finish this one. So now this is the railing. So this is a uh, um, uh, the fat uh, the default um, railing. So one of the four uh, type in the Revit architectural template. Okay, so now let's let's um, Let's start. So first, um, look at this. So um, so this railing is about 900 high. So here we have two ra uh, railing. So edit type. So these two are rail structure. Okay. So if you edit this, you will see 700. This one, 800. This one. So now um, let me have a look at this one. So uh, we we're going to just delete the top one because the top one we are going to use top top rail. Okay, so so we are only going to have one at about 100 mil uh, uh, above ground level. So I'll delete one and uh, for this one I'll change the height to 100. And all good. Um, for this, for this, um, I'm going to create a new, a new um, profile. So see here, it's it's 20 mil. Um, I'm going to make it 40. Okay, so I'll leave it. You, I'll leave it for now. And okay, and okay. So now you can see we only have this one. Okay, so so because it's a profile, so go on the family. And on the profile, find that uh, square handrail. So you can see here. So right click, duplicate. Let, uh, let me just create a 40 mil and double click on it and then change this to 40 and 40. And OK. So go back to the rail, edit type, go to rail, rail structure, change this. To 40 and OK and apply and OK. So now this one's finished. So now we are going to change the top rail. Okay. So top rails in on the here top rail. Okay. And uh, I'm going to click on this and then here we have different options here. So see circular, uh, elliptical, rectangular. 50 by 50. We are going to use 40 by 40 as well. So uh, I'm going to ch ch select this rectangular 50 by 50 and duplicate, and I'll just rename it 40 by 40. And OK. And here, uh, we'll just change it to this square uh, handrail. So 40, we just create it. And then um, Anything else should be fine. Our material, I'll just leave it for now. Um, all good. Okay, so okay, and apply. So we will see change the the shape of the top rail. So not match the this one. Okay, so um, now we're going to so these balustrade. Okay, so edit type, and here go to bar, um, baluster placement edit so okay so these the middle one the middle one are here so is this one okay so we can um, actually we better go back uh, I'm going to create a new one first okay so go the baluster is under railing okay it's on the railing so you will find the baluster square, and if I so we only have two here. So just right click, duplicate, 
40 mil and double click on 40 mil and we can change it to 40 and also I'll just leave the material and now go back to the railing and edit type go to baluster placement and then here change this to 40 mil square baluster and I'll um, and also so the, the, the start this start and the, the end on the other side is is con uh, they are controlled by this okay so here so you can see start post okay so let me change it to 40 as well and change it to 40 corner corner is um you know when you so i'll quickly show you so cs if you have a railing not, and it turns change uh, direction so and this one this this one will be the corner one okay okay so now the next step we're going to adjust um, edit this panel okay so this panel is on the ra uh, railing so we will see the panel place so this is it so right click on this sorry right click on the panel glaze and edit so you can see this is the panel okay so uh, what we are going to do is we are just going to add a little frame around this panel okay so go to uh, so now I'm in 3d view so we can do it in 3d view so go create sweep you can pick path and then pick the edge of this panel so I'll just do it one two three four and uh, sometimes it's a thicken line so just make sure it's just TL so you can see uh, which edge you, uh, click you, you picked okay so finish and then edit profile so I'll just uh, very where's my uh, sorry where is the where's the little cross thing hmm? happening here uh, pick path yeah good select edit profile where's my uh, anyway let me think uh, start from here but I can't find a yeah that's interesting let me have a look in the front view okay so front view yeah it's here but it's not visible in oh here it is Anyway, so let's let's pick some uh, create the profile. So I'm going to just pick some line, and also for the um, the width of the frame, um, let me guess, maybe 40. Okay, and of course uh, I'm going to move that out, maybe 10. The other side, 10. So I'll trim it. So now if I finish and this will be the frame so this frame will change when the panels uh, change okay so um, and also you can create a, a material so let's call it frame material okay and okay so now if I load this um, here um, maybe I'll rename it because now it's glazed I don't want to overwrite the original one I'm going to just uh, uh, save as a different oh sorry save as a different name okay I'll just call it a uh, panel um, mesh mesh okay so save and load so now go back to 3d view so let's click on this uh, railing and edit type ballast ba ballast placement so here change this to the panel mesh okay so if I apply okay apply so we will see change all the panel and then we just need to adjust the height okay so edit type go to here so this one so you, you will see this is a, a, a negative 100 we just so top 
So you can see the top is the top rail element, which is this one, and the top offset from this element, net negative 100. I'll just, we'll just change it to zero. Apply and OK and OK and apply. OK, so now, now you can see um, almost there. And just if you look clear, uh, carefully, so you will see this panel go into uh, the over, overlap with this post. OK, so what we can do is edit type, go to here, ballast placement distance from pre because all these panels in this rating the panels uh, the width of the panels fixed they are 800 yeah and then we just need to increase the distance from previous by the half of the post which is 40 so I'll just add 20 and here as well 20 so now if I click OK, apply, so you will see, so all good. And the only thing, um, because rating, uh, I don't uh, like, is it's just very hard. So for this panel, so this, this is a um, beginning. So what we can do is we can edit type and ballast placement. We can change this just to from center to beginning and apply and OK. So at least you will see on this side, that's all good. But then we will just have a little bit, you know. Um, um, what, I can, what we can do is we can try to create a railing to match the, the minimum, uh, minimum length to just have the you know another panel here so actually i'm going to just reduce the size so it's easier for us to to, to uh, calculate okay so first so eight because 800 panel so 800 panel so let let, let me just first try four meter because i think four meter so we'll have five 800 panel but from this one, we can say uh, no, that's not enough because we all, we also include those posts. So what I'm going to do is edit path. So here I'm going to equals um, eight eight plus forty eight forty because of, uh, the post is forty. So eight forty times five. Okay, so. For 4200. So now you can see we, we have, can have this quite perfect. So from start to beginning. So you can see it's you can still have something like this, but uh, I'm not sure how I can fix it. So at least for this top rail, so you can uh, tap and select this top rail so to manually um, uh, ex extend for maybe 20 and uh, to match this, match the width. Uh, this one as well. So edit rail, edit path, draw a line from here. Twenty, finish. Okay, but for this one, I don't know how. And also here, no idea. <laughs> um, maybe what we can do is um, maybe we can. Instead of use this continuous break, uh, rating, we can just create. Uh, let's let's try this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to edit type and uh, continuous so railing. I'll just delete it. So we we have no more continuous railing. I think that's it. Now, do we need that? Yes, we need that one. We need the one there. Um, okay, let's go back here. So maybe what we can do is we can go edit this um, mesh here so right click edit and then so i'm going to uh, create another sweep by path here and edit profile pick line so one 
one, uh, two, and uh, three, and I'm going to copy this by 40, uh, 40, I believe. Is it 40? Yep, 40. And also, let me check the size of this 25. Uh, we need a 40 by 40, right? So 40 plus 7.5 will be uh, 22.5. Oh, sorry, no, 32.5. 32.5 and then become 40. So, yeah, so center with that profile of the uh, frame. So, okay. And okay, so now we have this extra and load this back into the uh, red and so now we can see that's that's it so um hang on. why is the size of different let's uh looks like it offsets a little bit um no idea edit let's have a look of the panel so maybe there's a little offset somewhere uh no, there's no offset or maybe I don't know maybe I'll just off or I'll just offset the here so it's just uh, yeah that's something I don't like it's just too many options offset top offset base offset offset space hi yeah I think that's better yeah okay yeah, that's it. So um, yeah, if I if I, if we so panel mesh, double click on here. So uh, yeah, we have this uh, material. So let's just we can change the material just like yesterday. Um, we'll create a new material. Right click and mesh appearance. So here. Go appear appearance library and metal. Just on the metal search mesh, and then trying to find. Uh, so just double click. So open this uh, this uh, relief pattern. So you can tell you can tell from this image. You can see uh, what the pattern is. So roughly. So maybe these. Yeah, these are nice. Okay. So okay, and okay. Oh, sorry. Make sure, make sure you uh, just what's happening here. Uh, what's happening? Oh, yeah, double click. Sorry. So make sure you go uh, check the check the here. So click on this image. So see this uh, scale. Just so I'll change it to thirty. Okay, down. Cut out, same, change it to 30. Yep, down, okay. So now if I change to a realistic view, you will see that's a mesh, right? So that's it. So this is the, the railing, so same as um, the one we did yesterday uh, using the curtain wall, but this one's railing, so you can. You, oh, sorry, yeah, I'll just set the work plan. Sorry, ground floor. Okay, so now CS create similar. Just uh, make sure. So because they are 800, so make sure you uh, when you create the lens is always 800 pl uh, plus um, plus the pose width. So. So for example, if I need a six panel, so it will be equals 840 times six. And okay, so we have six panel. And also we you can create du uh, duplicate and let's call it maybe all one 1200 and double click and change this to 1200 and okay. And then let's create a new one. Okay, so edit duplicate mesh fans 1200 and change. You can just go there and change here to 1200. And you need make sh make sure here you need to change this as well. 
okay so that's a lot setting so okay okay create one so of course you also need to equals um, 12 40 times for example 3 panel 1 so this will be 3 panel 1 and if I need a 5 panel so it will be 12 40 times 5 okay so yeah so if you need so for example if or uh, if you have um, a wall here and another wall here and you want to so some random number so for example four five nine three zero you need a one of these uh, so you will need to uh, let me think you will need to so let me just do a dimension here and you will do some calculation okay so which is uh, five nine three zero and it will times uh divide by let's let me think guess maybe five divide by oh sorry <laughs> go back go back go back divide by five equals roughly one one eight six and uh, one one eight six minus forty equals one one four six so which means if you want a, a mesh fence here five panel one each panel will be one one four six and then you need to do, uh, create a uh, duplicate this one one four six uh, millimeter and double click one one four six and okay and select this one cs and edit type create a uh, duplicate so mesh fence 1146 and okay so go go here so here change it to 1146 and also here you will it will equals um, 1146 divided by 2 plus 20 okay so which is 593 593 and okay and okay so now if I draw here to here should be five panel exactly okay so um, that's it yeah because railing you need to do some calculation mm. but if it's curtain wall you don't need to worry about this so that's it for today uh, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye